Hi, welcome to Between Two Pines Dog Training, and this is to help you get to know us better. My name is Nona Lacey, and I'm the owner of Between Two Pines Dog Trainer and the main trainer. And in fact, I'm the only trainer. Um, so I am a wife, a mom, um, a grandmother. I have been a nurse for over 31 years. I was a nurse educator for a bachelor's program, and I'm a dog lover and a dog trainer. I live in southern, southeastern Arizona. Um, we're about six miles from the American-Mexico uh, border, and I live in the beautiful place called Hereford that is about at 4,500 4, feet elevation, so we are not your typical Arizona, um, what you think about when you think about Arizona. We have nice mild summers and nice mild winters. Um, and just the perfect place to do dog training. It's beautiful um, and just a really peaceful place and I really, really love it here. Um, and so this is me when I was 14 years old. I've been around dogs my entire life um, and I can name every dog for you that I ever had. And I started dog training very, very young. Um, and I've had a variety of types of dogs in all shapes and sizes. And here you can see me um, training some miniature poodles when I was 14 um, that belonged to my aunt. Um, and so as I grew older, um, uh, because of my medical problems, I um, became in need of, of extra assistance. And so my son bought me a dog to become my service dog. And so I started my regular training with her for obedience and she did indeed become a service dog um, with a little bit of help from another training program. And some of her skills were um, just natural for her and some of them were trained. Um, but I felt like as we were training, we really didn't have the relationship that we needed to have. Um, and so in 2017, I started looking for a program to become a dog trainer because I wanted to help other people um, who needed service dogs get their dogs and train their dogs. But I also wanted to do different training with her, um, I guess is the best way to say it. And um, even though we had a relationship, I wanted a better relationship with her and I found games-based training and I started using that with her and our relationship just blossomed. Um, and as you can see here, I mean, we have just become inseparable. Um, she is 14 years old now and um, you can read more about our story on our website at betweentwopinesdogtraining.com. But um, she and I have a relationship that I never knew I could have before game space training with a dog. Um, and then enter Dutch. So we found Dutch and his brother when they were about 12 weeks old at a, at a gas station in Arkansas while we were on a trip. We never intended to keep Dutch, but he grew into our hearts and he became our comic relief um, just our clown but also Dutch has another side and it can be quite naughty as his shirt um, indicates here um, and he had a set of struggles that I really had never dealt with with a dog before um, in training and so um, I started using games based training with him and it really really made a difference um, not that we aren't still working on some of his struggles because he has some deep-seated struggles um, but really game space training opened up a side of him um, it opened up a very athletic side for him um, and really we've been able to develop that and again we have been able to foster um, an incredible relationship and, and I honestly I will tell you this was a puppy that at the very beginning I really really did not want to keep him and now I can't imagine life without him um, and so through this when I was uh, I was doing these trainings I realized that games based training was just amazing um, and so I um, in May of 2020 
I decided it was time to open Between Two Pines. So in a very um, crazy time for America, um, I decided, hey, why not start a small business? And it really amazed me how quickly it grew. Um, and it amazed me what I was able to do. So I met lots of people and lots of dogs and just got to work with um, dogs of all types. And it has just been really amazing. So fast forward, um, we moved back to Arizona and I was starting my business over and I had gone back and forth about um, with Cadence and the fact that she was um, aging and I retired her as a service dog, would I train another dog for a service dog? And so a friend of mine um, sent me pictures of this little cutie and said, this is your next dog. And it's a person who I respect very much as a trainer, and so I knew she was right. So I brought, bought this puppy, and I brought her over from England um, to live with us. Her name is Mia, and um, she opened up a whole new level of dog training I did not know existed. So while I was thinking that Dutch was my challenge, I never knew the challenge. There would be more challenge out there, and, and it is. And her name is Mia. Um, and so challenge accepted. Um, I have started game space training and she'll be the first puppy that I've raised um, totally on game space training. Um, and I'm proud to say that we have made we have made good strides in the last six months. Um, and we do in we do see or meet new struggles every day. Um, but we're working through it. She's a work in progress. And so what I'm talking about is uh, pro dog training. And um, in 2017, as I mentioned, I was looking for a different type of training and I was looking for a program that I could do that would help me become a certified dog trainer. Um, and I happened to cross an, an advertisement um, for a class or a course um, that was just about dog training. And so I started doing that course from Absolute Dogs. It looked interesting. And it led me to their Pro Dog Trainer course. And I did that and I just fell in love with their training. And I became a certified uh, Pro Dog Trainer in 2019. Um, and that really opened the door, not only for me to work as a certified dog trainer with other people, um, but it also opened the door for me to become a partner with them, which allows me to offer um, offer my clients and offer people other programs that aren't just my own. So I can offer some of their courses um, and uh, such as the stop barking, stop jumping, stop pulling courses. Um, some parts of the year there are certain ones that open that I can offer and then some uh, others I can offer all the way through the years. Um, and so this one for naughty but nice dogs I can offer part of the year. So right now that link does not work. Um, <laughs> but at other times of the year it will. Um, and so when I, I can offer those things, I can off, also offer their um, awesome line of supplements. Um, and they're supplements that I use with my dogs. They're really great supplements for different things. Um, so it really opened up the possibilities for me to add value for my customers. In addition, while I was training Cadence, um, as part of her service dog training, of course, I decided to do the Canine Good Citizen. I think it's a great thing to do uh, for people who are going to have their dogs out in the public. And it just adds a level of um, training and certification that says my dog is a great dog that can be in public with other people and other dogs. And when I did that, I decided then that eventually one day that I would become a trainer and evaluator that could offer that to people. So in 2022, um, I went ahead and I became an evaluator for Canine Good Citizen so I can offer that. And I continue educating myself um, every day on becoming a better, better and better trainer. Um, so the games, the, the programs I'm talking about is games-based training. Um, and I love it because um, it puts fun back into training. It's not hour long training, it's specific training, but also general training. So I look at struggles with people that people are having with their dogs and I say, 
hey, the things we need to do is let's not focus on those struggles, but let's focus on a solution for those. And so I look at that and I decide what kinds of things can we teach a dog um, to help them through those struggles. And then I say, let's do it in a fun way and we're going to do it through games. So I teach people games and they play those games with their dogs. It's fun. It's fun for the dog. It's fun for the human. Um, and it doesn't take a long amount of time, but those games actually have a purpose. Um, so just like we do with kids when we teach them things like the ABCs and things like that, where they learn the ABCs through a song, um, they learn reading through putting blocks together, um, we can do that with dogs. And so what we do if, with those games is we teach the dogs different types of concepts, different types of characteristics that help them through those struggles. And it's a fun time, not a long time. So when we play those games, we play them for three minute increments. Um, and you can play them several times a day or you could just play them once a day. But the point is, is we do it. And it helps people because it's not a long time and because it's fun, they actually do the dog training. Um, and their dogs learn and they learn so it's really wonderful now when I was teaching nursing I learned that people learn in different ways some people learn by hearing things some people learn by seeing things some people learn by doing things um, and so I thought why are we not doing that with dog training um, so I decided that I would offer my teaching in different ways for people um, so what I do is I offer teaching that you can come and do the traditional a group class um, where people come together with their dogs and they learn together um, and they have that social element that they need. Um, I also offer one-to-ones that people can come and learn individually with me. I offer those things either in an in-person setting or you can do it online with me. So I can do things over the computer. Um, I also offer things on the computer, like different kinds of courses that are just videos that people can watch over and over again. Um, and then I offer a fusion of those kind of classes where you might do part of it online and get information that's also, uh, or do it in person and get information also that's online. So here's just a couple of the classes I offer. Emotional Support Dog, that's a, a class I I offer for people that can lead into um, service dog training. Uh, new recruit, you gotta have a puppy class, of course. And so we have puppy class. Then we have smaller classes like Settle. This is a foundational class uh, for training um, that I offer online through videos. And then I gotta have some workshops. So I offer smaller courses that are just like two to four hours. Um, and that can be done online. Uh, we might do them through Zoom where people can be with their dogs, which really works out great for people who can't get out of their home or for people who have dogs that really don't work well in a group setting. And so we can get together and do those things. And then we have some that are recorded. So I know I misspelled this and I'm sorry, I just noticed, uh, but I really believe in this this slide here that says opportunity plus preparation equals success. So I like to provide opportunity to people um, that they can prepare with their dogs so they we set them up for success. And what we're doing here is we're training for situations not in it. We're not training the dog um, when they're already attacking another dog. Um, we are training them ahead of time so that they don't get into those situations and they're successful. And that helps us to work smarter, not harder. Um, so we're actually preventing things from happening um, and it makes for much happier owners and much happier dogs and we love that. So all the things I do, um, some of it's my own, some of it's from Absolute Dogs, but I do everything with permission as a part, as a partner with them and as one of their certified trainers, I do that with their permission. Um, but I do owe a lot of my, my education to them um, and so I, I give them credit for what they've given me. 
So if you would like more information about Between Two Pines Dog Training, you can catch us um, at this website at BetweenTwoPinesDogTraining.com. You can also um, look us up on Facebook, um, and we have quite an active page there, um, also on YouTube. And then we do a little bit on TikTok and on Instagram. So check us out at those places, and I hope to hear from you soon. But until then, keep playing games.